Hi and welcome to another video of Type with Me. In this video we will see how we can create a terminal application with Dino. So first of all we need to import the parse uh, method from flags. The parse or arguments, right? So the next line will help us to parse our arguments. And then of course we can do something like if parsed args h or something like that. Then we can just print out or help. But let us for the moment just log parsed args. Then of course we do dino index.ts dash dash sum hi help. So now we get this as an object and that's very nice because then indeed we can do parse args dot h or dot help and in this case you will just print out some help some help so you see that the first time he downloaded the package flags mod.ts but the second time he didn't do that anymore. The only thing that he did was compiling our application, which is great, right? So what we can do now is say something like usage dino index.ts And then we can have the arguments help or help, right? So if we don't have help, we can do some interactions with our end user. So for that, we're going to import the text proto reader. Yeah, that's right, the text proto reader. So for that, we're going to use this line of code so we're going to create a new text proto reader and then we're going to create a new buff reader where we're going to read from the uh, input of the terminal right so what the user types in great so um, i'm also gonna delete this line we don't need it anymore and then I'm going to put a while loop. So whenever we have a while loop, we ask the end user to type something into uh, the console. And now we need to have some synchronous um, calls. So within dino.stout.write, we're going to encode uh, this so that we have this line and it's important to have it within a function so we will have an async function main i really love async await it really uh, makes promises much easier, right? So after that, we can just read that line and we can add it towards the const line. And then we can say if line equals 
i. We can do something like console not log i. Else if line equals close. can break out our while loop All right at the end of our while loop it's important to have a timeout function and just to be funny we can put something like um, dot log I don't I don't know what you saying wait so if we execute this with dino index ts and we do still still help you'll see that we get an error because he don't know he doesn't know certain imports so for that we need to solve that of course and we're going to import import these kind of errors all right, so we're going to go to the top. So it's important to add two imports. One is the encode import from the strings module. Another is the buff reader from the buff IO module, right? Great. Another thing that's very important is to add the main function at the bottom of our script. So we go to the bottom of our script and we put main. So now when we do dino index.ts you will see that we get the help, which is correct, because he wants to have an underscore. So if we do dino underscore blah, for example, we can say something, he doesn't know that, what, he still doesn't know that, then we can say hi, he say hi back, and then we can say close, and he closes our application. So that's great, we learned how to create some kind of interaction uh, within our end user, and we learned how to write basic application within dino thank you for watching i hope you had something uh, you learned something new here and uh, see you next time bye